Maryland dictate the style of play here tonight. Turn around by Bias, and that's something Lynn, they had a hard time doing a few nights ago against NC State, get the ball inside of the big guy. And if they can't get the ball to Lenny Bias, they've got no one to score. He carries the load. That's the one thing that has probably caused the problem for Maryland more than anything else. Their inability to get some offensive help for Bias. The Terps come back with a basketball. They find Bias open inside. He is really hammered by Allery, and Bias squares off. And as I just mentioned, it is going to be a physical game. You've got tempers flaring. Here's the replay. Great pass by Derek Lewis inside. He draws the defensive player to him and dishes off to Bias. That time, I'm sure, it had to be called an intentional foul. And uh, Lenny Bias did not like the way he was fouled. But it's going to be that way all night, Leonard. Well, here's Bias. He has scored the first three points for the Maryland Terrapins. They are down by one. Just a, an outstanding basketball talent, this man. That's the only way to describe his multifaceted abilities. Len Bias, a man in motion off the ball. That baseline jumper, and boy, you can color it too. He is as good a baseline shooter as there is maybe in all of basketball. Plays to Len Bias, Henderson with a hand in his face. Bias gets open, puts it up and in, and boy, is he on a roll early here. Saved by Derek Lewis. Here's Bias turning and shooting, and he, just like that, has scored 10 points in four and a half minutes. Oh, Lewis gets it, plays it inside across the lane. Bias weaving his magic, puts it up and in. And that was about as good a ball movement seat a couple weeks. Can your ranking in those statistical categories be any more impressive than those owned by Len Bias? It has been that kind of year, and... Boy, I'll tell you, he has seen every type of conceivable defense just about there is to play in college basketball. The opposition stacks the defenses against him simply because Maryland has really not gotten a whole lot of offensive help from anybody else. Lane violation called against Duke on Bias's first free throw. He missed that, but he gets a reprieve and hits the first of the one and one. Bias with 13. And he has number 14 in his... Lenny Bias trying to post up inside against Billy King, but in the last four or five minutes, the Maryland All-American has not been heard from. How about now? He got it. I think he heard you, Marty. <laughs> he has scored 16 of his team's 31. It is 47 Duke, 31 Maryland. He goes, takes a lot of pressure off the Dolphins and Allers. And I guarantee you, he's one of the players that these NBA scouts on hand are looking at. Lenny Bias, he drops one through and on top of it draws a foul. Billy King, he has come off the Duke bench. Bias on the free throw line. And That's the first points of this second half, by the way, for Maryland. I'm pretty sure, Marty, that Billy King is in there primarily to guard Lenny Bias. He's got to start changing people up. 50 against the Duke star frontliner, but the free throw misses. The follow shot by Bias, and he dots that exclamation point. And that time, that's one of the rare times you'll find a player like Mark Allery concentrate on the play before. I think he fell asleep just a bit and allowed Bias in there for the dunk. Bias has scored 21. So Len Bias, who played his high school basketball at Northwestern High, native of Landover, Maryland. Right around the corner from the University of Maryland. <laughs> Lucky didn't have to go too far to recruit him, did he? <laughs> no, it's like picnicking in your backyard and you come up with a feast here. That's a pretty good analogy. I'm a lawyer, man. I'm I can dig it. <laughs> Bias has a total now of 23. Loose ball. Maryland comes up with it. It's thrown up by Narrett. It hangs and goes and a foul to boot against Duke. Join his teammates on the Maryland front line. Lenny Bias. Gets his 24th point, 24 of Maryland's 47. Well, with the substitution of Greg, I, I think it's a good idea to now start giving people who normally don't get an awful lot of time, give them some time in a game like this. They're going to they're gonna slow Maryland's pace now. Well, Bias has uh, displayed simply a virtuoso performance for the Maryland Terrapins. He has scored 27 points, one less than he had against Duke back on the 4th of January at College Park. Here he sees an opening, he believes there's an opening. Lynn Bias moving his feet, gets good position, and very careens into him. Billy King, David Henderson, Mark Allard, Philadelphia. Lenny Bias baseline, and beyond, and he scores again. Nice move by Bias, and I... Now it goes to the baseline. Bias, and he hit it fading away, and found his All-American teammate. 31 for Bias. Duke misses. 
Bias has it batted away, and there's a late whistle by Len Wirtz, but a good call. Bias has been perfect from the free throw line. He's 10 out of 10. In addition to scoring 32 points, he's also hauled down six rebounds. I don't know what more you could ask from him that he has not already given. Inside to Bias, pinned on the baseline. He made the most of a difficult situation. And what more can you do? Here's a guy who's gotten the ball on the baseline a number of times in his double and triple team. He's still slippery enough to slide through the double team and lay it in. Nice shot. Johnny Johnson looking low, as all the Maryland players do for Lenny Bias. He finally gets the ball and hits a shot, an exact replay of the one he hit a few minutes ago. Well, he's hiding along that baseline. He's getting behind the defenders, and when you get to a blind spot of a defender, particularly along the baseline, there's very little he can do once you get the ball, except possible foul you if you go up as strong as a Lenny Bias. All he's done is score 37. The precious little help. An ongoing problem for Maryland. Lenny Bias, check these numbers out. 18 field goal attempts, 13 hits, perfect from the free throw line, 11 for 11. For that All-American, it seems like it's all in a night's work. Sometimes it seems he's playing on a slightly higher plane. Now he shows a little bit of his ball handling skills here. 78-64, that's a facet of the game that he has had to work on at Maryland, and he's done it. And this, this is one of the most difficult times for a player, particularly a Lynn Bias, to come out here and play. All Lenny is playing for now, I'm sure, is to uh, put on a great show. Not to say that he hasn't so far, but he's gonna go for the all-time scoring mark and anything else he can right now. There's really no incentive. And for the other starters, it's the same thing. The only thing you can do right now is regroup if you're Lefty Giselle and come back for the next ACC tilt. 39 for Len Bias. Ready for this Georgia Tech and North Carolina showdown. 10 seconds to go. Len Bias going for a 40-point night. And he does it with a vengeance. Two seconds, one second. It is all over. The final score from Cameron Indoor Stadium here at Duke. The Blue Devils 80, the Maryland Terrapins 68.